Sometimes reality and illusion live side by side. But to understand the difference, you must examine all sides. Take this globe, a perfect symmetrical form. But when we check more closely, the truth is revealed. Check out every angle before you judge. You may be getting only half the story. Remember the course in ancient history at Starfleet Academy? About the time when men still believed the Earth was flat mm. and that the sun revolved around it? Check out every angle. The Earth was flat and that the sun revolved around it? Every day, the concept of truth seems to become stretched, distorted, and compromised. Maybe it's time to accept that some things go beyond our ideas of truth and fall into a category that can best be described as beyond belief. Millie, when you were 14 years old, you said on a TikTok Live that you thought the Earth was flat. Hmm. Unfortunately, yes, I did. Do you still believe this? <laughs> no. Telling the truth. Although I've never seen like the, the, you know, you know when you're on a plane, sometimes you can see it, the curve. I've not seen that yet. You've seen satellite pictures, right? Satellite I, I pictures. have, I have, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Judd. It was NASA's multi-billion dollar blunder in the central Australian desert. A report into the crash of a space balloon has found a lack of safety precautions could have resulted in deaths as onlookers were sent running for their lives. It was a takeoff in the central Australian desert with high hopes of exploring the final frontier. Instead, plans came crashing to the ground. The failed launch of a balloon carrying a multi-million dollar space telescope had onlookers scrambling for safety. There was just lots of noise and we thought, really thought we were gone. It was just an instance of uh, chaos outside. We were expecting to be wiped out. The cargo broke free during takeoff. It was dragged out of control, crashing through a fence into a car. It left onlookers running for their lives. Just barely made it out without getting, uh, without, without getting smashed. NASA's dream of entering the stratosphere ended up as a pile of space junk. A new report has found 25 causes for the incident, among them high winds, equipment failure and the absence of a backup release mechanism. But the report's most scathing criticism was directed at the scientists involved. The main safety issue was the safety of the general public which we addressed immediately after the mishap. The report acknowledges those caught up in the cargo's trail of destruction were lucky they weren't killed. So we will certainly not be advertising any balloon launches. We'll have our own security people there. There will be a no-go area from which the public will be excluded. It's planning to launch another balloon into space next year. Emma Masters, ABC News. Yeah, a bit of sci-fi hitting home for a Michigan couple when a satellite crash landed in their backyard and their reaction, priceless. Never know what's going to happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. <laughs> uh, Nancy and Dan Welke, cool as cucumbers, discovering a satellite that had crash landed on their property, still blinking and still attached to a parachute. Turns out the satellite belonged to Samsung, which launched it just days ago as part of a PR stunt to do the world's first selfie in space. Samsung reps did visit the farm Sunday to make sure everyone and everything was okay. In a statement from the company, they said, quote, Samsung Europe's space selfie balloon came back down to Earth. During this planned descent of the balloon to land in the U.S., weather conditions resulted in an early soft landing in a selected rural area, end quote. The satellite is now back in the hands of Samsung, but the Welkies were able to snap a selfie with it before they took it away. So, there you have it.